Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will be looking at calculating variances, and we will be looking specifically at direct material and direct labor variances. So here is our scenario. We have several pieces of information that give us standard quantities, standard prices, or rates, things like that. Uh, we also have actual information. So down at the bottom, are our actual numbers. So we've actually produced, for example, 400 units and it takes a certain amount of square feet to build those, etc. So the first thing that we will be looking at are our direct material. So the first thing that we will do is calculate a materials price variance. In order to do this, we take the actual quantity and we compare that along with the actual price and standard price. So for example, in our scenario, our actual quantity of material used, direct material used, the actual is 5,100 square feet. So for both calculations, we'll be using the actual quantity of 5,100 square feet. Then we need to pull the actual price. The actual price is calculated by looking at the cost of square feet used, which is $28,000, divided by the number of square feet used, which is 5,100. That gives us a actual price of $5.49. Our standard price, however, was given to us as $6 per square foot. So when we take 5,100 as a quantity, our actual quantity times 549 actual price, that is our $28,000 that was given to us as the cost of square feet used. However, our standard is that we have a standard price of $6. We multiply that times the actual quantity of 5,100 and we get $30,600. When we compare the $30,600 to the $28,000, we have spent less than anticipated. Thus, we have a $2,600 favorable variance. The second thing that we will do is calculate the material quantity variance. Here we're going to use the standard price in both calculations of $6. But now what we want to do is actually compare the actual quantity that we've used, 5100, against the 6000 standard quantity. The 6000 standard quantity is that based on the 400 units of production, our standard is, is that we would have used 15 square feet per unit and that gives us 6,000 square feet. 5,100 actual quantity times the $6 standard price gives us $30,600. The standard quantity, however, of 6,000 times the standard price of six gives us $36,000. So in this case, we've actually used less material to make the product than what we thought we would. So we have a $5,400 favorable material quantity variance. In the last part, when we calculate the direct materials total spending variance, that is actually the materials price variance plus the material quantity variance. In this case, we have two favorable variances, $2,600 in materials price variance, and we have $5,400 favorable of material quantity variance which gives us a total spending variance on the direct materials of $8,000. And the reason that we want to break these out as one being price and one being quantity is that if we just looked at the 8,000, we wouldn't know, well, how much of that is due to rate and how much of that is due to quantity. And so that's the reason why we break these out separately. Now, the next thing that we want to do is look at labor, our direct labor. So the first thing we will do is calculate the direct labor rate variance. Here, we're using our actual quantity, which was given to us of 4,000 labor hours. We are using the standard price of $14, which was given to us. We have to calculate what our actual rate is. Our actual rate is the $50,000 direct labor cost divided by 4,000 labor hours. And th that gives us $12.50. So if we take the actual quantity of 4,000 times the actual rate of 1250, we get $50,000. If we take the actual quantity times the standard rate of $14, we get $56,000.
So in this case, we spent less than we thought we would as far as rate is concerned. So we have a $6,000 favorable variance. The next part is the labor efficiency, meaning how many hours. And so in this case, we're looking at the actual quantity of hours of 4,000. Our standard quantity is 4,800, and we get that by taking the 400 units produced times the 12 hour standard quantity. And that gives us 4,800 hours as a standard. We then use the standard rate of $14. So now what we do is we take the 4,000 actual hours times the $14 standard rate, we get $56,000. And then we take the 4,800, which is the standard hours, times the $14 standard rate, and we get $67,200. So we've actually used less hours to produce these products than what we thought we would. So again, that is an $11,200 favorable variance. So then to calculate the total direct labor spending variance, we would add all of that together. We have two favorable variances. We have a 6,000 favorable direct labor rate variance, and we have an $11,200 favorable labor efficiency variance, which gives us a total variance of $17,200. So I hope that helps to explain how to calculate variances very often you will see variances in the workplace. You'll have to explain these perhaps, either budget numbers or these manufacturing rates that you'll have to calculate variances on, or at least help to explain why variances are occurring. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll be happy to help you. And I look forward to seeing you on another video.